Hi, my name is Dr. Andy Morgenstern. I'm an optometrist from Bethesda, Maryland, and I practice at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. Omegas have great health benefits. It can help our skin, our heart, our eye, and our brain. And the reason why this works is due to the anti-inflammatory effects of omegas. When it comes to dry eye, which is obviously really important to us, the popular perception is that fish oil is the primary choice of omegas. However, there's another omega out there that you need to know about. It's called GLA. GLA is not found in fish, it's not found in flaxseed, and really not at any meaningful levels in the diet, but it works really well with dry eye. We've reviewed seven controlled clinical trials on this GLA, and we have found compelling results. Here's what's really interesting about GLA. GLA has a targeted effect for dry eye. GLA is a precursor for an anti-inflammatory prostaglandin called PGE1. It's been shown to stimulate aqueous production and support mucin production. All of this stuff really helps meibomian gland dysfunction as well. GLA is actually an anti-inflammatory omega-6. We've heard about omega-6s before, and we often think of them as bad, as pro-inflammatory. But these are the omega-6s that we talk about in our diet. GLA is not found at any meaningful levels in the diet and really works as an anti-inflammatory. Omega-3s are very beneficial as well. In fact, when GLA is combined with EPA from fish oil in the right balance, it has actually been shown to inhibit the pro-inflammatory mediators and actually stimulate the anti-inflammatory mediators. So there's an advantage of using GLA and EPA. Both of them provide a unique anti-inflammatory benefit and that provides us with a two-prong attack against inflammation. So there's a patented formula called HydroEye. It combines the appropriate balance of EPA and GLA with other nutrients and cofactors. HydroEye has been shown to significantly improve dry eye in a randomized placebo-controlled clinical trial conducted by researchers Dr. Steven Flugfelder, Dr. John Shepard, and Dr. Walt Whitley. When you're seeing your patients with dry eye in your clinic, you have to consider all of the possibilities of why that dry eye is affecting that patient. When you're thinking about treating, remember about EPA and GLA together to suppress those pro-inflammatory mediators and give your patient the highest quality results that you can.